when you get the mind in concentration. We're trying to bring things together. In Thai, they call this chit ruam. It means the mind gathers together. You've got the body, the breath, your awareness. Bring them all together right here. Get a sense that it's hard to tell the difference between the breath and the awareness. They seem to be filling the same space. Wherever there's breath, there's awareness. Wherever there's awareness, there's breath. But after a while, things will begin to separate out. It's like oil and vinegar in a bottle. If you shake it up a lot, they stay mixed. But if you let the bottle sit, after a while, the oil will float up to the top. And they separate out on the run. In the same way, when the mind gets really quiet, things can begin to separate out. That's when you can gain some discernment. As the Buddha said, discernment comes when you see things as separate. The awareness is one thing, the breath is something else, the feeling of pleasure is something else. You see that you've glommed them together, but in reality they're, they're different things. And when you can see they're different things, then you're going to understand how what causes what. And things begin to make a lot more sense in the mind. So give the mind a chance to rest like this, let things separate out on their own. We live in a world where everybody talks about interconnectedness as being a really good thing. But look at what it does. There's greed, aversion, and delusion. We suddenly find ourselves victims of other people's greed, aversion, and delusion. On top of the, our own being victimized by our own greed, aversion, and delusion. And some people say, well, can't we just learn how to live together? But as the board had pointed out, you had, if you had two mountains of gold, it wouldn't be enough for people's desires. It was Mara who came to the Buddha and said, rule righteously, rule without violence. Bring a peaceful reign to the world. And the Buddha said, it wouldn't last. No matter how well you design society, people wouldn't be satisfied. The only way to find real satisfaction is to get out. Other people say, you're selfish. But you're taking one less place at the table, one less spot in the feeding chain. And that's a real gift to the world. So we get to see things as separate. They're interconnected in the sense of having influences on one another, but they are separate things inside the mind, events in the mind, events in the body, events inside you, events outside. When you see them as separate, that's when you can see what the connections are, and you can also see where the connections can be cut. We see connections not to celebrate them, but to figure out what's connecting us with suffering and how we can cut that connection. And in doing that, we find that we're creating a less suffering for the people around us, too. So being separate like that is not a selfish thing. As the Buddha showed, it's the best gift you can give to yourself and to the world.